scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Stand short. I live to praise your name. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Sing it as a prophecy over your life. I lead to praise your name. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. I lead to praise your name. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Standing on the mystery, I live to praise your name. There's no fear again. I Celebrate my king in this place. Hey, unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. He's the pandemic God.
thanks for your life, what he's made out of your life so far. From the depth of your heart, acknowledge him in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. Lord, I acknowledge you, the doer of all good things, the giver of every dimension of wisdom. giver of all good things. The giver of all good things. The giver of all good things. Hallelujah. The Bible says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. To acknowledge him means to recognize that he's the reason why you are what you are, where you are. Don't ever be careless about this. In all your ways. Lord, if anybody sees any wisdom in my life, it's because of you. I wish I could sing the song. I'm acknowledging you for for what you do in my life. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Dance like you are. Dance like you are. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. For what you do in my life. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Dance like you are. Dance like you are. Baba. Baba. Oh. Baba. Baba. Oh. 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 Baba. Oh. in my soul Jehovah be lifted in my life today even in my heart even in my soul Jehovah be lifted in my life today Baba oh Baba Baba oh Baba oh Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, as a family, we say thank you. There is not one of us who has what it takes to produce results. If there is anything in our lives, if there is anything in this ministry that is worthy of commendation, we declare that it is because of you. We are not ashamed to declare your faithfulness. You are our helper, Ebenezer, the Lord who has helped us. For you are holy, righteous and worthy, my God, I lift you high, be lifted high, be lifted
Something mighty in your life. God is building something powerful in your life. God is making mighty men in this place. And He won't stop. He won't stop till you look just like Him. He won't stop. No, He won't stop till your life looks like him let me prophesy to you again god is raising mighty warriors in this place god is raising men of honor in this place he is raising men of influence in this place my God is raising men of power in this place. You may cry, but he won't stop till your life looks like him. You may weep, but he won't stop till your life looks like him. When it's over, when it's over, when it's over, when it's over, suddenly you look like him. Suddenly you talk like him. Suddenly you walk like him. Suddenly you heal like him. He's raising me in this place. He's raising your finances in this place. He's raising your anointing in this place. He won't stop. He won't stop to we look just like him. He won't stop. Never stop to we look just like you. Never stop. Never stop to we look just like He's raising men of fire in this place. He's raising men of vision in this place. He's raising men of wisdom in this place. He's showing his mysteries in this place. And he won't stop. No, he won't stop. He looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. To your life looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. To his bride looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. Listen. He won't stop. He won't stop. To your life looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop till your life looks like him. Listen, let me start tonight with a word of encouragement to someone. I don't care how your life is. You are a project that God is working on. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. Sometimes you may cry as the word comes sometimes you may wish the training stops but he won't stop please don't stop till your church looks like you never stop please don't stop till your bride looks like you never stop never stop till our lives look like you never stop never stop till our lives look like so hold on yeah, my encouragement hold on God is working hold on oh yeah you may be discouraged hold on you may weep for when he's over when he's over when he's over when he's over when it's over, when it's over, when it's over Suddenly you look like him 
Suddenly you talk like him. Suddenly you rock him. Suddenly you rule like him. For the sun will no more give you sunlight by day. The moon will no more give you when he's done with you. Jehovah will be your everlasting light. He'll be your glory, your strength and your sight. For the light of the moon will be like the light of the sun. And the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright. When Yahweh binds up the wounds in your life, when He heals all the bruises inflicted by this world. Romans chapter 8 from verse 18 says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy, listen, to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed i reckon that for now there are things that don't look like it yet you are praying but you've not seen the answer you are fasting but there's nothing in your life you have a church and your church looks like a shop because nothing is happening he won't stop he won't stop till your life looks like him take this as a prophecy tonight Till your life looks like him, he won't stop, he won't stop. Till your life looks like him, please don't stop, never stop. Till my life looks like you, please don't stop, no don't stop. Till my life, Lord I may cry, but please don't stop till my life looks like you i may be tired but please don't stop till my life he won't stop till our lives look like you he'll never stop till our lives look like him never stop till my life looks like you hallelujah lord we believe in you we believe in you we trust where you are taking us and we ask that you will take us there in the name of jesus christ lord let our tears not stop you let our fatigue not stop you let our human weariness not stop you let not even our unbelief stop you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'd like you to walk up to 10 people just prophesy to them tell them you are a wonder on your way to happen go ahead Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. We will all be very great in this life. But the best part of it is that we will all know ourselves. Hallelujah. You see, every leader, please listen. Every leader, whether in church setting, has an assignment. Praise the Lord. Human beings are like, please pay attention, human beings are like computers. 
Now, that's not an insult. I just want to explain something to you. Human beings are like gadgets. Only a leader knows what they will become because God revealed it to him. Are we together? The people have an idea of what they are to become, but they don't have it clearly and they don't know how to get there. Every true leader is a leader only because he has seen the end. Are we together now? The job of the leader is to be able to lead the people. Their job is to trust him enough and follow him. So the first assignment of everybody who wants to follow a leader is to probe the life of that leader until you think he's worthy of your loyalty and trust. Because it's risky to follow a leader who doesn't know where he's going. He will take you anywhere, dump you there. Are we together? So the Bible says, without vision, the people perish. The word perish there is they miss their direction. They cast off restraint. Listen, brothers and sisters, let me announce to you that God is taking you somewhere. Are we together? I want you to trust, please listen, listen. Trust trust the teachings that you are receiving don't just agree with them mentally trust it it says trust in the lord right believe in the lord and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets not just no believe that the person God has placed in your life by grace has an idea on how to take you to where you need to go and you receive the truth. You see, the problem with many of us is we are not receptive to the word. We listen to it and compare it with what we know and if they tally, we believe it. If it does not tally, we dump it away. There are so many people. You see, let me tell you something. I was teaching the school of ministry students yesterday. Anywhere you see consistent result, there is understanding producing it. Are we together now? Please, I need your attention. Anywhere you see consistent results, there is understanding. It's not guesswork. It's not magic. It's not some charm. There is an intentional operation. Please, mama, and come. Let me use him. You're looking beautifully dressed with your tie. Oh, this is lovely. Don't you think so? This is beautiful. You can dress like this on your wedding day, and I'm telling you, you are there. You are perfect. This is, this is it. Praise the Lord. Sam, please come. Let me use these guys. I mean, these my people today are looking superb. Learn to celebrate good things. Hallelujah. Poor people and mediocres fight and resent good things. You know, that spirit is dead here permanently. It was buried by me personally. Learn to celebrate nice things. Now, Maman, you knotted this tie, right? Yes, sir. Can you do it again? Yes, sir. Sam, can you knot your tie again? Yes, sir. Were you in the same room when you were knotting your ties? But the ties are knotted because there is a principle that has nothing to do with the person. It is a law. There is a way you turn this rope you later call tie and it looks beautiful like this. So he was doing it in his house or in his room. Sam was doing it in his own house. They had the same result. No witch stopped it. No demon stopped it. Are we together? They can do it every week because it is built on principles. This is how I want your life to run. Such that you may be in Akwaibom. You may be in Zamfara. It makes no difference. As far as, you see, the laws of God has equal value everywhere. It's not like Naira and Dollar. It's not like petrol. It's not like all of these things. It has equal value everywhere. 
he told Cain if you do what is right will your sacrifice not be accepted I don't reject it because your name is Cain you are violating something listen your journey every man of God every man of God when you get people born again by the spirit and open them up to the ministry of the holy spirit the next thing the very next thing is to begin to guide them change their mindsets pray for one minute prophesy lord i understand what is happening to me hallelujah hallelujah god bless you please sit down these two guys and another example this guy is called a christian brother a this is christian brother b are we together both of them came to jesus christ genuinely confessed his lordship he lives in their hearts he lives in their hearts but the quality of their lives are we together and the possibilities that can be produced from their lives become different because this brother got born again and he was planted in a church where the man of god though well-meaning is just guessing around whatever he feels like teaching i was telling the school of ministry students today he feels like teaching on rapture next week he teaches on relationship the next week he teaches on certain kinds of mysteries have hazard informations whereas this brother had the opportunity to be planted under a very visionary pastor who understands where he is taking him are we together at the end of two years you bring them together and this guy is well-meaning jesus is still lord over his life but there is no victory in any area of his life there is no operation of the spirit at work in him he's familiar with a lot of christian terminologies but there is complete barrenness in his life whereas this other brother has moved forward because informations move people forward something he did not know he's now receiving let me just give us a background before i go into the teaching of tonight listen school of ministry students just allow me to take a little of your lectures and just bring to the house i want you to know this especially if you're a man of god members only receive about 20 percent of the information that is communicated to them are you following me now the smartest member in any congregation cannot at the first instance of any teaching assimilate more than 20 percent of what is really taught so while you hear people say mm, preach preacher are we together and while we as men of god keep fooling ourselves thinking we are impressing people with mysteries we coin scriptures and greek and hebrew words and at the end of it the people are dazzled they get up and they shake and we think we are moving forward let me assure you the lifespan of that noise is not more than one week they will hear something else that's why you pastors teach members how to reign in certain dimensions but when they stand in real life situations they make foolish decisions do you know why because something here did not take one sermon to be wrong it took their entire growing up process a mindset a thinking so don't you think you will come with just one sermon renew your mind and people say in the name of jesus i'm tired of this mind to mean that they are free oh no no the word of god must be taught systematically there are three dimensions of assimilation i was teaching the school of ministry students the first level is awareness any information you hear trust me the first encounter with it is only awareness you really have not understood it although you will argue let me tell you what awareness is all about awareness is like um information stored in a system but random are we together 
so the information is in you but it's random it's scattered it cannot be filed and produced when it is appropriate that is the reason why many students read they read two days to the exam they go to the exam hall and they remember this formula is in my head but whether it's five is five up or down i cannot exactly understand because you see the mind is like a machine are you getting what i'm saying now because you were only aware of the information later on you will remember but you do not have the power to remember it when you want because it's still at the level of awareness so you are learning tithing you are learning on the anointing you are learning on the ministry of the holy spirit you think you have gotten it but it's still in the realm of awareness the second level is called understanding where the logic and the principle behind that operation now enters into your spirit so you are no longer just aware of the information you understand it it says in all thy getting get understanding are we together now there are things in my life i thought i had gotten i would have argued but in recent times i'm looking at them and i'm surprised i'm like my goodness so what did i think i got that's why you must be very meek in the presence of god is god speaking to us understanding the third level and that's where god is taking us is mastery everybody say mastery the third level is mastery at that point the, the revelations have become a stronghold in your mind you cannot undo it again it has become part of your convictions that's the realm of settled faith you are not jacking yourself into believing that reality he said but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded persuaded You may be like this brother or this person in this place tonight this gentleman comes to church with his philosophies let's go to church i'm a christian let me go and hear what god has to say and when the message is going on he looks at people writing and he feels guilty and he says bros you have two virus he collects it because he does not even understand why people write it is not a revelation to him he's just embarrassed that in a whole row he's the only one not writing and he says let me write what did they even say ecclesiastes he just put dash 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 he's not he's not even conscious of the information he's writing whereas someone is sitting like a sponge waiting for every truth and he's writing are we together now this is this brother like many of us we come to god with our stumbling blocks our mindsets our ideologies so many pastors so many people business leaders many all kinds of ideas and then as though we came to watch a cinema let's hear what god has to say and then when one looks impressive he said guy that's smart the other one said eh, do i exactly agree no only a fool argues with the word of god the word of god is supposed to be like a hammer in your life when it comes let it crush everything that does not have stamina in your life and give way refuse to have loyalty to wrong ideologies don't hold on to them because of the solidarity of how long they have been in your life that that's the information you've known all your life does not mean you are right are we together be like the other brother your heart receptive oh i'm a man of god but i know there is more i'm a businessman but i know there is more i'm a leader but i know there is more i've seen the anointing of god in my life but i know there is more i have seen myself operating the prophetic but i know this this cannot be it this can't be it god is so much bigger than this is calling us deeper 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 
is calling us Hallelujah. Any church, any pastor, any man of God that is not committed to teaching his members the principles, not stories. Are we together? Not opinions. The principle. You change men by changing their convictions. You change men by altering their convictions you change men by altering their convictions a man cannot change if his convictions doesn't change a man cannot change if his thinking is still the same so the word of god comes to you and begins to propose a new life you have lived this life but i show you a more excellent way it's up to you to believe god enough or argue it let me tell you something i have watched and and sometimes we discuss it especially in recent times with Ejimi. i have watched with shock how very ignorant people ignorant pastors ignorant leaders ignorant businessmen argue with those who have results to me i define that as the highest level of pride i will never argue with a man who has results when i stand before people whose lives i greatly admire my heart at once i take up all that title apostle so, so, so and so and i sit down when i see a man communicating a dimension of reality i have not seen in my life i dare not argue i listen and i listen sincerely it doesn't mean i receive everything but i listen i listen without any sense of cynicism i lay my golden crowns thank god for the little i know but i want to know more and i must be meek because the lesser is blessed of the greater colleagues don't bless themselves they advise themselves are we together that that foolish thinking that is eating the body of christ that makes everybody come and then you say oh let me listen oh sam this is i'm impressed you see an ignorant man listen to a pastor who spends two hours teaching something that can change his life and at the end he comes to the person and says wow very nice the ignorant man will not say my goodness you changed my life can i have your tapes can i establish any strategic alliance with you Everybody say, I'm becoming wise. Say it, I'm becoming wise. Give me anybody, and I say this with all due respect. Give me anybody, any two people. Any two people at all. All I need from any of them is a teachable heart. A truly teachable heart. Bring this guy from London with the little knowledge he knows this guy from my village somewhere are we together bring two of them to me let this guy have a teachable heart genuinely teachable let this guy have an arrogant heart give me six months believe me when i tell you six months of thorough mentorship six months with, with a heart that is malleable I will produce a wonder you compare them after six months their difference is like light and darkness that's what is happening to some of us but the problem is some of us are not paying attention we are not seeing what God is doing never come to the presence of God just to worship to fall down to stand up and to leave there is a measure of transformation happening to you line upon line precept upon precept here a little here a little then your life is changing changing your thinking is changing all of a sudden you were somebody who would not even comb your hair but you are a prayer warrior are we together 
you've never seen the relevance of a comb something about the spirit of excellence touches you and you say if i add a good prayer life to character and comb my hair well is that not an added advantage are we together all of a sudden you find out that you are a prayer warrior but you are poor and broke and every door finance is closed and then the word of god is coming at first let me tell you how you react because most likely the people who taught you how to pray may not teach you to pay attention to finances so it doesn't matter let me just be serious with god god will reward me for my prayer but as the word of god comes you will find out that one truth in the kingdom does not replace the other you can excel in one dimension and still fail in another he made many lights but he made two great lights there's not just one light the kingdom of god is made up of systems your understanding of the operation in any system will deliver the results for you so that you are living in divine health does not guarantee prosperity that you are rich does not guarantee a healthy spiritual life are we together now yeah so the word of god keeps balancing you you now begin to understand the systems of god say the systems of god please say it again the systems of god yes there are different departments of spiritual operation there is the economy of the kingdom there is the economic system of the kingdom are we together there is the governmental system of the kingdom right there are systems in the kingdom there are operations that are responsible for the delivery of the anointing dramatic proportions of grace upon the life of a man there are possibilities of god that can activate your finances you can master god's economy there is another dimension that can make you excel when you understand god's concept and idea of relationships then you will be a successful person spiritually then you will be a millionaire multi-millionaire are we together then you will be an award-winning husband or wife with the ability to train children then you will be kingdom driven and not carried away by those things that is a complete man that is a picture of the true bride of christ anything short of this order is like taking the four legs of a table and you stand on just one how long can you stand you were designed to stand on two hallelujah pray a prayer point right now quickly and say lord expose to me my areas of ignorance i am willing to receive pray thank you guys thank you please pray expose oh god unto me the areas of ignorance in my life I'm not too arrogant to receive your word i'm not too proud i'm a great businessman i'm a great man of god but lord i tremble at your word i'm not part of those who argue with your word my heart is open because the word of god has the ability of influencing my mind it can change me it's my bailout from a bad background it's my bailout from a life of suffering it's my bailout from a life of carnality expose unto me hallelujah are you following me now are we together there is an area in your life where you have not tapped into the understanding of the laws of the kingdom it may be in the area of excellence you have not gotten a revelation that personal excellence is a language in the school of success you may not know you are a sincere person are we together so you don't pay attention to being excellent whether your shoe is polished or not you don't care all you know is god be glorified whether your shirt is ironed or not you don't care are we together now yes you don't pay attention to those details because you think they are carnal then the word of god begins to come and says in addition to your spiritual alignment begin to learn these principles then you learn them you start applying it to your business are we together whereas before customers will come and stand outside 
Yes, who is there? And he, ah, I came to buy milk. How much? You don't know how much you are losing because of that wrong mindset. All of a sudden, you take the spirit of excellence to your business. You are a prayer warrior, but something is changing in your mind. And because you are receptive, you now arrange tables. Employ one person as a receptionist. When customers come, you now greet them. Hello, you are welcome. And they are surprised. Ah, ah, bros, you don't change. They are trying to bring you back to yesterday. And you forbid it. I've been excellent. Please, you can sit down, sir. How may we help you? Ah, and the person squares up and says, I'm, I'm impressed. Where is your manager? Oh, he's busy, but I'll get to him. Um, if there's anything I can do to make your life comfortable, please, I will. The person calls his friend and says, Bros, you want to travel to Lagos, whereas, I mean, there's somebody who is here and willing to help you. That business connection, come. Are we together? Excellence. You have taken it to your business. All of a sudden, a sudden you've taken it to your academics. Your notebooks are no longer in your pocket. You don't fold them like a thief and put it in your pocket. The spirit of excellence is influencing your life. All of a sudden, you realize I'm 26. I'm no longer a child. I need to start behaving well. All this dressing, wearing a shirt as if one, one torn shirt, no singlet inside. You've never considered buying singlet. You sag your trouser. The belt has caught. You, all kinds of things have happened. You just move around and you suddenly sit down and say, ah, God bless me with 10,000. Let me buy at least two nice shirts. One nice trouser. I found out that I am 27. I don't have a suit. But I bought food for 10 ladies and none of them liked me. Let me go and get suit. The spirit of excellence is changing you. You no longer find yourself among those who are gossiping and gisting. They just come around. You start speaking. Not like where you are. Or like where God is taking you to. Are we together? Somebody come. Have you heard? He says, not necessary, please. I my time is allocated. I say, ah, ah, which one is all this time, time thing? He said, No, no, no. I realize that there is a graph in this life. I have come out of my morning face and I'm not yet prepared. So I'm catching up. I really appreciate if you don't become a distraction to me right now. All of a sudden, let me tell you what will happen: heavy persecution, which is a sign that you are doing something right. Because your status quo. The people in your environment are now uncomfortable with you. They will interpret your transformation as pride. But give them time. They will go and give you chance for the real ones to come. You are switching realms. Are we together? All of a sudden, you used to be lazy and carnal. When we are in Rome, behave like Romans. Do. When we are broke, we call any military officer. But the word of God is coming. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. Are we together? Yeah. Now it becomes a conviction. And your friends say, Kai, are we not traveling to Abuja this weekend? And say, no, it's over. I'm over with this life. I made up my mind that I want to be a woman of virtue and excellence. And they say, I bet you after everybody has slept with you. And then you tell them, the Bible says, remember not the former things. Nor consider the things of old. I may have lived in ignorance, but now that I know, I'm determined. Then he calls you and you pick your call and say sir i appreciate you but something has been happening in my life recently don't say i won't come like before no explain why you will never go again so that he will know that you are not confused it's a decision i've made your life is changing you used to be arrogant and and very rude to elderly people but then you are learning right now that there is something called the law of honor all of a sudden you step down and you see your mother and you greet. She's carrying something. I say, Mama, let me help you. Say, ah, I thought you were a pastor. You say, No, that's why I'm carrying this. Because I'm a pastor. You say, I thought pastors are big men. You say, No, I have learned that leaders are servants, not bosses. You lead by servanthood. Something is changing. If this is not happening to you, you are wasting your time in Koinonia. What can you see in your life? Has the spirit of excellence come upon you? Have you started washing the plates as soon as you finish eating? Or it's still there one week like before? There's no excellence. Are we together now? Yes. 
have you started paying attention to details help me sir do you have a good notebook where you can document your persuasion or you still have pieces of papers you move around and chuck in your pocket when you go to churches do you sit down and listen to the man of god with your heart open disregarding the imperfections and looking for jesus in that church or do you still go and you say this man of god is not like my church this guy cannot even speak english very well our apostle used to wear suit what is this guy wearing like this so you don't listen have you dropped that attitude of cynicism where it's no longer my church or koinonia or kingdom if this is not happening to you you are not changing has your prayer life improved by revelation not by guilt not by guilt where joshua selman preached and said if you are not praying three hours you are not a christian i just say ah god no, let's do it you put alarm clock and you can't wait the moment it does bam you say go oh god that's all I'm, I'm done no but by revelation he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray because by revelation you have been given insight of what your prayer life does so on tuesday while you are lazy you would still come to the prayer department four o'clock you are on your way to rema why because i must build my spirit is it comfortable no it's not about comfort every man who strives for mastery must strive lawfully lawfully according to the rules my spiritual development requires fasting do i want to fast no but i do it out of love for christ and the discipline that will build me you are growing whereas you would have been the one before who will argue with anybody people are persecuting you and you are trying to explain no it's not like that it's really did i shout at you am i not a nice person now you have learned that only those behind you backbite those in front cannot backbite because they are focusing and moving forward and so you use those criticisms as stepping stones not stumbling blocks you have grown your self-worth has been so stable with the word of god you may not have all the money in your pocket but nobody can preach you into thinking inferior and it's not about saying i'm not this there is a settled confidence i am wonderfully and fearfully made are we together different dimensions of the kingdom all of a sudden you start committing yourself to tithe you start your tithing and the first one month is as if you are going to die you are hungry you are looking at that envelope you can eat it and nobody will know and ask god for forgiveness after after squandering the tithe but you tell yourself i'm no longer going to be a child i must grow and you are moving you are not seeing results but you know that as surely when a farmer plants he must reap you know it will come my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god my secret place is calling you oh god my heart is calling you Hallelujah. whereas you a man of god your concept of ministry is to brag around looking for titles are we together hopping from one church to another hopping from the house of one rich member to the other bringing all kinds of prophecy are we together now arranging all kinds of people buy suit for me buy shoe for me my birthday is coming next year buy shoe for me all of a sudden you hear the word that ministry is not done that way ministry is about service with thorough integrity the willingness to be word compliant at any cost all of a sudden you find out wow whereas i'm doing ministry today and then occasionally i can go and watch pornography although i'm doing ministry occasionally i can go and drink i can watch this and you are finding out look it's time for me to be a true man of god it's time for me to be genuine it's time for me to be true are we together now and you go on a retreat 
I'm attacking the spirit of pornography. I'm attacking the spirit of masturbation. I'm attacking the spirit of immorality and drunkenness. These are things that nobody may know yet. But it's still at work. And God is giving you opportunity. And you go before his presence. Kabarakata. I'm going far. God, this thing must die. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. I wait on you. Lord, I wait on you. Sing it just one more time. We wait on you. So there is a mindset you have as a lady you come before god but there is a mindset you have you are born again but there is a mindset of desperation i can do anything for a man i can do anything for a rich man then all of a sudden you start receiving the word that there ought to be only one person who your life and allegiance should be pledged to jesus christ the son of god and now that revelation is meeting your wrong mindset are we together now oh i thought it was right to have 10 boyfriends 20 girlfriends and then be receiving money from this one when this one is broke this one is just receiving breakthrough i can alternate but now i'm learning do not be deceived god cannot be mocked whatsoever a man so well that he shall reap and you tell yourself it comes to an end I'm ready to settle down. Is God speaking to us? That's the word working in you. It's changing. It may not be comfortable, but all of a sudden you are learning. Your mother taught you not to listen to any man. Any man that talks, give it back to him. That's my daughter. That's what they taught you. And all of a sudden, Joshua Selman attacks that rubbish and tells you, no, a meek and a temperate spirit it's a woman's original design anything outside that produces a beast wives submit yourselves are we together and then the brothers come with their own mindset to i am the boss and then i teach them husbands love your wives not the way culture taught you as christ loved the church there is a standard it's not given to your personal opinion Your life is changing all of a sudden you turn and your world is changing like day and night you go back and do ministry with integrity no lying no prophesying to anybody and say drop ten thousand naira and i speak a prophecy no all of a sudden it may be popular but you change completely you don't criticize people you don't argue and tear down any man's ministry but you preserve truth as far as your work is concerned Lord, if it means me living in hunger and teaching your truth, I will walk in that integrity. Hallelujah. Whereas you're a man of God who will never pray and prepare your sermons. You just get up and do anything you want to do. All of a sudden, you learn that a minister, ministry is trust from God, supervised by God. All your prayer life is just about give me tea, give me bread. All of a sudden, you take on a a template of a man who has true compassion for his members lord bless your people open doors for them and god is watching you are you are keeping your own needs aside and you are praying lord there are barren women in my church give them children not for my name's sake for your name's sake lord that lady there are three ladies in my in my ministry that have hiv that have cancer that have fibroid they are going to die i intercede for them lord i found out that in one week i counseled 18 brothers suffering from masturbation i attacked that spirit that's how to pray that's the heart of a true shepherd they may not see you when you are doing this but let me tell you you see ba this thing we do you can't fake it for too long if you are not doing these things 
in reality in reality a day will come it will become clear because you will be tired no human being can pretend forever are we together Hogenedo do 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 Hogenedo Hogenedo Tirido do do Tirido Hogenedo One more time. Again, I do. Hallelujah. Is your life changing? Are you becoming relevant to society? Those you are living around, can they look at your life and say, Kai? All of a sudden, promise is a blessing to everybody in this area. Or are you still the same nuisance that people have been having? It must change. Say it must change. I've watched people and I've seen by the grace of God how God has transited their lives. My own life, I look at my life and I wonder and I'm grateful to God for the passion i have i have i have such a hunger for transformation i have no loyalty for error the moment i find out that there is something in my life that is impeding my growth i wave it goodbye forever no matter how long i've been with it i am malleable to change i'm not too arrogant to change i'm not too arrogant to tell god i'm sorry i'm not too arrogant to tell god i can be better is God already speaking to us tonight? Because I want you to change. This is what needs to change. This is what needs to change. Your mindset. I'll get to the teaching shortly. But this is, I'm preparing the ground. This is what I'm supposed to talk about. It, 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 that's where it's all leading to, really. My message tonight is on repentance. And it's not your idea of repentance. That was the one message Jesus brought. Repent. 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 Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 6, please, verse 10. See, listen, Koinonia, hear me. You will thank me for these things you are receiving today. Believe me. When five years from now, ten years from now, you turn back and look at your children and you look at the sufferings and the ignorance of men and the result of their ignorance, you will just get down on your knees. Your remaining lifetime will be spent in tears of gratitude. Lord, how did I escape? He said, how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? The darkness will come upon the earth. You can't pray it away. But there is a key that exempts you. And this is it. 6 verse 10. Thy kingdom come. Jesus was teaching them how to pray. And he says, thy kingdom come. Three words that have governed my life thy kingdom come and it tells us how to bring the kingdom it says thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven hallelujah now please listen very important for you to get this foundation the word kingdom is actually a combination of two words the king's domain the king's domain the king's domain the word kingdom means the domain of a king a kingdom is a sphere of influence 
a territory where the influence and the culture of a king is permitted to find expression without restraint that's a kingdom any sphere any territory where the influence and the culture of a king is permitted to find expression without restraint it's called a kingdom the domain of a king please listen i'll just connect what i've said so far with the teaching tonight and then we'll pray because i want us to be kingdom people there are many gospels that we preach and there are many gospels seven of them the bible teaches but the gospel jesus brought to the church is the gospel of the kingdom a revelation of the influence of christ the king upon a territory and jesus is teaching them how to connect to the heart of the father he says when you pray let it be that your desire should be lord your kingdom your influence the same way it is in heaven you know why heaven is the way it is because the kingdom of god the kingdom has been established the rule the reign the culture the way of life the modus operandi of god heaven is governed only by his ideas no suggestion no addition no improvement the wisdom of god is the map the compass that governs the activities in heaven are we together now so heaven is the way it is the arrangement of the 20 and 4 elders the streets of gold right there are 12 things the bible reveals to us about heaven one of them is the appearance of the throne room are we together now the 20 and 4 elders the angels the seven lampstands christ being in the midst of the lampstand the voices in heaven all kinds of arrangements the center of heaven is the throne room that's where life emanates that's where the rod of his justice that's where the rod of leadership proceeds from no rebellion the angels that rebelled were casted down to the earth perfect justice yet perfect love and so when you watch the inhabitants in heaven they don't guess how to live there is order the 20 and 4 elders know when to bow one doesn't just say kai i'm tired of waiting i remove my crown after all all of us will remove our crown there is excellence are we together the atmosphere of heaven is unrestrained there is no loyalty to two people no possibility of rebellion christ the center of heaven so there's no lack why because the ideas of god who is the fountain of wisdom is what permeates that environment are we together there is no hate they don't do capitalism they don't do democracy all your Karl Marx kinds of leadership and governance they don't do it there's nothing called the masses in heaven are we together there's no such thing as that no political parties no lack no ownership in heaven only access ownership is a sign of rebellion in heaven nobody owns anything the citizens of heaven only have access are we together now jesus is saying if you want your life to look like heaven listen he says pray lord your influence let it come to my life let it come to this system transfer everything that makes heaven heaven to find expression here and this is the secret he says his influence will find expression when his will everybody say will change that word will to idea change that word will to word his word change that word will to convictions change that word will to ideologies when your ideologies are executed in the earth your influence will come when my life permits your ideas then your kingdom can find expression in my life 
Is God speaking to us tonight? So, the level to which I achieve personal excellence in every area of my life is the degree to which I relinquish my idea about life and I embrace that of heaven. It is foolish for me to come from my culture. Right? I come from a culture of warriors. And warriors are arrogant people because they are always fighting animals and fighting enemies. Are we together now? Many of us come from different cultures. Now we come to God and God is saying, I want my kingdom to come into your life. This lack, this pain, your marriage is not working because all of you are bringing cultural ideas. I'm from Aquaibron. He's from Lagos. Lagos and Aquaibron is clashing. What is he producing? Disaster. And God is saying, both of you, leave it, embrace my ideas. Are we together now? Now, it's difficult because we hold on to the things we've known. It defines our sense of relevance. But God is saying, if you let it go, make my will be done. My ideas, my concepts. Then you will find out that your life will change. It no longer will be an issue of Igbo or Hausa or Yoruba or South South right or middle belt no another culture has superimposed the limitation of your culture your state of origin notwithstanding so we can come from different regions but the operation of the kingdom within us is the same because we have relinquished our culture and embraced the culture of the kingdom please listen this is very important when we talk about the word of God that's what was translated there will it's from the same Greek word. The root word is logos. And logos means the thoughts of a man. The thoughts, what a man is thinking. His ideas that cries out for execution. So when you call Jesus the living word, you're actually calling him the living logos. Means that the, he is the manifestation of the thoughts of the father. Whatever the father was thinking, Jesus was executing. Are we together? That was what made him a perfect son. So now he tells you, embrace my ideas about finances. Embrace my idea about the anointing. You don't get the anointing by going to a stream and going to go and bath. We're watching a program in the afternoon how that a man went to the stream to look for money and he was walking on water physically and then a spirit came out of the river and gave him a ring that he wore for money those are stupid ideas perverted ideas but there is a way there is a way that god can give a man are we together when you come into christ when you come into the kingdom the assignment for you is in one word and it's called repent repentance repentance is the journey that makes men like christ repentance has nothing to do necessarily with sin like i'm a i'm a sinner the word repent is a word that is a process it's not just an act that happens in one minute repentance is a journey repentance is a process matthew chapter 4 verse 17 john began to herald that message and when jesus came matthew 4 verse 17 he says from that time on please read jesus began to preach what was his message what was his message repent why should you repent for the influence of heaven is within your reach right now change i have come with the keys to give you the word at hand means is within your grasp. You have been praying and say, Lord, bring your ideas to us. Now I have come as a representation of the government you so desire. Now repent. Because the kingdom, it wasn't just an issue of heaven or hell. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven, the influence of the father, the life that makes heaven heaven is embodied in a person. And he has come to you 
so the first step to repentance is accepting the ministry of the one who is proposing it that's jesus but that's not the last step it is only the first step the first step to repentance is an acknowledgement that you are lost outside of him and outside of his ways the bible says we all like sheep right we all like sheep have gone astray he said every one of us have gone his own ways like a sheep without a shepherd wasting my life away with all kinds of ideas now he comes to me and he says joshua selman repent so i come to him the first step lord jesus i relinquish ownership over my life i have tried and i've done everything i know to do i've lived my life with my own ideas but i hand over my life to you right from beginning to the end it will always be always be you jesus so i answer what you call an altar call and a man of god guides me through a prayer of faith right and i accept his substitutionary sacrifice and let me tell you what happens to many of us after service you just look pious and you carry your bible and then you don't know what else no that is the beginning of the journey to true transformation repentance is the key to transformation you don't repent by saying i repent you repent by embracing new ideas that's the true character of repentance repentance means i have seen another light i have seen another paradigm i've seen another path that is greater than what my father taught me greater than what my mother taught me greater than what abu taught me greater than what nigeria taught me greater than what africa taught me and i am willing to follow the language of repentance is follow me follow me and i will make you pastor alpha follow me carry your ministry along carry your wife along carry your son along i will make you don't come made you you cannot be made i will make you the mission is trust me enough even when you don't understand what i'm doing believe that my thoughts towards you are thoughts of good and not of evil right i will go i will go wherever you lead me i will go yes lord i will go i will go wherever you lead me so he leads you through a path that you have never followed before and he says everybody follows this road but this is where i'm taking you to you you've never passed it before but you trust him you trust him lord i have never sown a seed before in my life but now you are teaching me this is the key to prosperity i trust you i've lived my entire life in fornication i don't know how to not live in fornication but i repent i embrace a new idea now see the way god works all you need to do is receive the grace for performance comes from him you do not have the power this is the true picture of grace the ability that backs your decision the decision is a product of your willpower but the grace to live in that decision is what is supplied after the decision is made so i don't have any power in myself but i decide i set before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing choose don't worry about how you will go just choose so you choose lord i choose your way satan hears you causes hear you the backgrounds the foundations of your father's house hear you and god says now that you have chosen the spirit of grace <laughs> 
is the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God. You're the Holy Ghost, Scepter of the King of Kings. You're the Holy Ghost, Seal of the Age to Come, changing everything. and sisters you just made a decision Kabbalakata. all of a sudden an ability you never had suddenly comes on you how shall these things be seeing that i do not know a man he said the power of the highest you can't stop fornication by yourself you can't stop drinking by yourself yours is to choose i align with you and grace comes upon you all of a sudden power strength capacity you watch the things that once swallowed you and you can nod at it and go back to sleep because you chose we never choose because we say i don't have the power to make it happen god says choose prosperity you say but god i graduated with that class that's not your business just choose 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 and the grace comes and that grace appears unto men and can teach men it can teach men it can teach men how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way it's a part only the holy ghost knows how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly like eagles when you don't know the wind power and work in you changing everything that's what god is doing tonight swallow your pride tonight come to the school of the spirit that's what he's doing for you don't you know in his arms are the keys to eternal life like he's teaching you a little here a little there soon your day will dawn is at work in you changing everything hallelujah line upon line precept upon precept you are changing it will not happen in one day the accuser of the brethren will come to you and raise his ugly head to tell you if if the hand of god is upon your life why are you not moving as fast as you should move right and then you keep moving like a seed that is planted you begin to grow and blossom and your life becomes a marvel and a wonder repentance please hear me is the key repentance is the pathway that leads you to transformation the moment you get born again your next assignment is the journey of transformation and it's only done when the word of god is accurately divided the word does not change people the word explained received and understood is what changes people don't you think that you are hearing the word it changes you know when the word of god is explained like i'm teaching now and you are saying wow i never saw it this way i thought it was just about heaven and hell i thought it was just about being a christian i didn't know that that's only the beginning to the journey i now see why i should come for koinonia every week it's a progression of the training are we together now yes it's a progression of the training every time they go from strength to strength they go from strength to strength as many as appear before god in zion they grow from strength to strength he says thou will show us the path of life for in thy light we see light so he exposes you while you are working well now your prayer life is at work now you are praying in tongues right now you are studying the word of god but you find out that there are all kinds of devilish things tying you down you thought they were not there but you are seeing patterns in your life that represent covenants of darkness 
then another teaching comes teaching you the mystery of true genuine deliverance that can cut you away from your past the same way the red sea divided egypt and israel forever they came out of egypt but egypt could still catch up with them but something happened an encounter that had to do with water and that was the end of it he said these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever are we together whereas you thought that all there is to life is just to work hard now you are finding out that there is a place for intelligent work there is a place for the favor of god and there is a place for prophecy believe in the lord your god and you shall be established nobody has ever really truly spoken over your life and what you are doing and you say this is the missing link i have studied the books I am a tiger, but there is no prophetic word. And you get that word, and it changes your life. Brothers and sisters, I wish God will open my heart so that you will see how much I crave that every one of us will step into perfection. Step into this realm of absolute maturity in the spirit. A realm where the encumbrances of life have no power over you. Thank you. See, let me tell you something. I have lost the ability to be discouraged. Honestly, I know you think it's pride. If I tell you I'm discouraged, if I tell you I'm frustrated, will I be true to you? Will I be sincere to you from my heart to tell you I'm discouraged? Because I found a stream of endless supply of grace <laughs> I found my way I found your word and I did eat it it was a joy and rejoicing to my soul it's not just saying I can cram scripture Psalm chapter 1 verse 2 Psalm chapter 3 verse 4 blah, 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 and then they are clapping whoa, whoa, that's not the word that's memory verse thy word have i hidden like an endangered species it has framed my conviction i cannot think any other way i don't think like a nigerian i don't think like a northerner i think like a citizen of the kingdom because i truly am i'm not pretending it it's the truth there are some things that are no longer realities for me and my job is to take away those things those illusions out of your mind i can't think failure i can't it's not all this confession ah, i can't think I'm, i i mean it seriously i mean it where will all the revelations of the mysteries of the kingdom run to when i'm thinking failure how will it happen don't say ah you are lucky god no 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 take everything i have today give me time it will come back i found the key i found the key they know not neither will they understand he said they grope in darkness and so the earth is out of course it is not about the government it is not about satan it is not about witches and wizards it is about disalignment it is about rebellion it is about pride and lack of meekness it is about inconsistency hallelujah I challenge you in this place there is a realm a path which no fowl has seen job said the whelps of the lion has not gotten there by the grace of god and all honor to the glory of god this great ministry god is building with his own hands is being built by wisdom it's not built by luck it's not built by guess did you know while I was seated here and the worship team were ministering, some of you would have noticed I was in an open vision almost all through the worship time. And I was seeing the tent. That's the next level of the ministry. I was seeing the tent. I was seeing everything. And I was watching some of the same people. Some I didn't see them. Some were there still doing worship. The sound, everything. And I was just in that atmosphere. It's not like I was watching. I was there. 
so how can i now get up and lie to you that i'm discouraged that's what i'm trying to tell you it will be a lie you see what do you know that gives you confidence yay though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death he says i fear no evil why for thou art with me then he says thy rod and thy staff they comfort me they comfort me koinonia i bring you a word tonight your project of transformation must be taken seriously the same way you put a building project you must transform there is almost no koinonia message that is not in my system as those who are close to me i listen to it all the time my phone is full of messages i'm listening i don't trust my mistakes i don't trust my errors i have god has helped me but i'm still a long way to go compared to where i'm coming from and compared to where he's taking me thank god but compared to where Christ is taking me and taking this ministry, we are only one step out of the cave. So while on one side, I can pat my shoulders and say, well done, transformation continues. I don't have time for distraction. I don't listen to nonsense. Not rubbish gist, not rubbish movies, not rubbish shows. I don't have that time. There is an urgency. There is a generation depending upon my stability in the spirit. Are you ready to give yourself that kind of urgency? hallelujah transformation tomorrow we are traveling we are in Joss again for a meeting all through from there to Mina we are traveling everywhere all of those people are waiting to receive am I just going to keep giving them what I gave them last year two years ago or am I going to come with something fresh from the throne you don't receive from God the way you enter a fast food no you must pay attention allow his word change you if you study your bible just for preaching you will not be an epistle of your message it will be clear with time that your message has not become a persuasion god is my witness i believe this i will die believing it it is the principle upon which i run my life it is it has nothing to do with me being spiritual my entire life runs on this I don't argue with it it is the template for my life I'm not just a Christian because I'm going to heaven I'm not just a Christian because I have ministry responsibilities this word is a lamp to my feet I use it like a torchlight taking myself out of darkness bringing myself to the way of light that's what has brought the anointing that's why I respect the Holy Spirit so much you hear me talk a lot about him i'm not copying men of god i'm not copying benny Hinn or Catherine kuhlman he has revealed himself to me he is the fountain of wisdom he will give you wisdom that is bigger than your age he will give you wisdom that is bigger than your background i tell you your weaknesses are swallowed up in his presence every limitation becomes uh irrelevant when you stand with his wisdom now you see the trouble is you may not manifest what is showing you all at once so chances are that people will not take you seriously but give him time give him time give my god time give my god time i know this god there is no one like this god believe me i know what i'm saying there is no one like my God. I love your ways and I love your word. There is no one like my God. There is no one like my God. There is. I tell you sometimes i feel like busting tearing myself into pieces do you know why because i have seen god's system of justice my background 
may not be fair my parents may not have been fair on me are we together situations and circumstances may not be fair but the word of god is a neutralizer it vetoes everything and it balances your life I pray that you will believe what I'm saying. I pray that you will have this passion and change your life and laugh at your mountains. Not pray about them. Laugh at them. They are a mirage. While we look at the things, I'm telling you, every mountain in your life, trust me, Koinonia, I know what I'm saying. It's a mirage. It's a mirage. It's a mirage. When David stood before Goliath, he said who is this uncircumcised not who is this mighty man he never called goliath a mighty man he said who is this uncircumcised philistine he said god who delivered me from the lion and the bear this day not tomorrow will give me your head he said i will throw you down i will use your own sword and i will give your head to the birds there is something you can see in the secret place see let me tell you something when you grow in confidence of the word there are some things you no longer will pray about believe me because sometimes your prayer is just a succor to manage your fears it becomes unnecessary you just lie down and sleep the boat was about capsizing jesus was sleeping how could he die the resurrection and the life how could he die there was no possibility of death in him the disciples could die when he got up he looked at the storm and he said shalom be still koinonia i want your life to bear fruit please hear me i want your life to bear fruit many have walked this path they made mistakes they never got there but I'm glad to tell you there are some people who walked and went there. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song we'll be singing forever. Holy is the Lord. Listen. Though we are few, but not many, we are surrounded by many who have crossed that river. You are not the first to cross the river from lack to prosperity. You are not the first to be mightily used by God. The Bible is full of ordinary men. They have crossed that river and they left their footprints. He said, ask for the ancient parts. Don't guess. Millionaires have come and gone. There are billionaires that lost money and became beggars and rose back to become billionaires. They left their footprints. There are men of God who have lost members and came back to that status. There are men who have lost anointings and come back. There is nothing you want that somebody has not done before. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before one more time though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river listen the many may not come from your family in your family nobody has crossed that river but there are still those who have crossed it are you hearing what i'm saying anybody that tells you god cannot use a young man Though we are few, you're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song you'll be singing for when you overcome. Holy is the Lord. When all the pain is over, holy is when you finally break through to that place of destiny they may mock you now but continue with the word of god they may not understand but i'm telling you you will have the last laugh trust me
years ago I was lying down on a mattress on the ground and I said Lord I want to affect my generation I want to change lives I don't want to live like the people I've seen in my family and my background I want to be different and the Lord told me something it was a secret he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing I will not give you I have followed him closely and today in a measure I have seen his faithfulness he doesn't lie we are just too impatient to wait for his word to come to pass believe me brothers and sisters there are those who God has given marital breakthrough you are not the first there are people who have gotten access to the mysteries of the kingdom don't act like you are the first it has happened before William Seymour Alexander the way Catherine Kuhlman Emphy McPherson they are they are the clouds of witness great men in Nigeria Babalola Archbishop Benson Idahosa there are so many there are fathers of faith who are alive brothers and sisters believe me they crossed that river some of them went through all kinds of obstacles and they crossed it he will bless you just pay attention if you do this i'm telling you your life will change like night and day only praise can take you higher to the place where you can see the father face to face oh my life will never be small see one more time There are very successful people in this place listen you may see everybody here most people here are young people make no mistakes there are millionaires in this place not by prophecy i mean people now here and now not it will happen no there are people who are very anointed but we all bring ourselves here and humble ourselves to listen to the word you know why because god is changing people there are people seated inside outside doctors professors intelligent people but they have come your life will never be the same so when someone looks at you and says you are not growing spiritually don't even pray about it just leave the person time is a revealer time is a revealer time is a revealer some of you would not have believed what i'm telling you now if i told you 10 years ago 10 years to come i'll still be saying what i'm saying but it will come with more results now and you will listen the bible says arise shine for your light is come he told us this is our year of multiplied grace and influence it's not a cliche ah when i say get up get up when i say move when I say art, that's what I do. When I say get up, I'm not saying stand up. I'm saying it's time to shake that dust and stand up. Arise and shine, for your light is come. Shake mediocrity, shake frustration, shake yesterday and his pain, and say no. I saw in my visions that anointing. I must step into that realm. I saw myself, my shadow, lifting wheelchairs. Not headaches. No. I'm a city, not a village on a hill. I'm on my way rising. I may not have all the evidences now, but give me time. Arise. He spoke unto me, and the word picked me up and set me upon my feet. When he says get up, when he says move, when he says run, when he says fly, hey, only place can take me higher to the place where I can 
and see the Father help me face to face turn to three or four people and prophesy to them tell them I'm a wonder about to manifest I'm not motivating you honestly speaking tell them I'm a wonder I'm a wonder. I may have a fault in my ground, but there is an anointing. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Listen. Please look up everybody. The worst thing you can do to yourself is to reject the word of God. The worst thing you can do to yourself is to ignore teachings. Get a notebook. 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 Write have personal times of teaching not just devotion every day with jesus five minutes you are reciting the prayers you are running you don't grow that way give god time and he will give you a life of victory give god time he will give you a life that is enviable give god time he will turn you into beulah and hefzibah give god time he will make you a bank of the anointing prayer point number one Lord, I give you time. I'm tired of giving you my remaining time when I waste my time doing other things. Please pray. Lift your voice, Koinonia, and pray. Lord, I give you time. I give you time. I give your word time. Pray. Lord, we give you time. We give you time in Koinonia. Time to make us. Time to break us. Time to mold us. Time to build us. Time to perfect us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like you to pray. You say, Lord, in any way I have been negligent and non chalant about the ministry of strategic transformation. I repent and I receive grace. Lift your voice and pray. If Friday is your only time of transformation, you are not growing enough. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12. Let's establish it. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 and then Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 please we're establishing the last prayer point let's read it together one to read is projected and be not conformed to this the word world is the Greek word aeon the thinking pattern that comes with this age read on but be ye transform how by the renewing of your mentality your mentality your perceptions then it says that you may prove what is that good and acceptable 
and perfect will of God the renewing of your mind repentance the pathway that leads to transformation dropping old ideas to pick up the new that are consistent with heaven's way of doing things Philippians chapter 2 please from verse 5 let's read together one to read stop the word let is the word permit permit this mindset this mentality to be in you which was also in Christ Jesus he had an understanding there was a way he interpreted life that made him victorious let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus let's look at Philippians chapter 4 please last verse Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 actually 7 to 9 but let's see let's just focus on 8 okay let's let's read from 7 down to 9 one to read and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding shall keep your heart and minds through Christ Jesus verse 8 finally Joshua Selman whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue moral excellence if there be any praise think 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 on these things not failure not defeat not i am a nobody not it's not for people like us no think on these things as a pastor think on pastoring a flourishing ministry let people tell you ah it's not about crowd no problem may god bless you with your revelation but for me god so loved the world he sent me not to go and pastor three or four people he sent me to influence a generation hallelujah the last prayer point father walk on my mentality something in my mind is keeping me poor something is keeping me not anointed something is keeping me out of revelation lift your voice something i do not know about excellence is responsible for mediocrity something i do not know about the anointing is responsible for lack of testimonies in my church something i do not know about leadership is frustrating me in my organization something i do not know about the economic system of the kingdom is keeping me poor change my mentality sisters pray something about my mentality is stopping my husband from coming to me lord change it something about my mentality is stopping my wife from coming to me something about my mentality is stopping good friends destiny help us from coming into my life show me oh god and change it hallelujah please say this after me as loud as you can say in the name of Jesus I declare that I am not a rebel to the ways of God I declare that I'm not rebellious to the teachings of the kingdom I declare that my background my past my culture my failures will not affect God's dream for my life God's plan for my life God's expectation for me in spite of my past I am still anointed in spite of my limitation God's grace is upon my life I declare that I'm not inferior I'm not second class the wisdom of God 
the favor of God the anointing of the Holy Ghost is at work in me my life is a testimony of the power of God I declare that I do not resent excellence I embrace it I honor those who execute it I honor those who teach it I declare that my life becomes excellent by choice I declare that I will not resent the anointing I will not resent the supernatural I will not criticize those working in it I embrace their ministry I honor them and I receive of that grace say in the name of Jesus I do not criticize wealthy people I do not have a resentment for wealth and prosperity I believe it and I honor those who have it and I declare that it must show up in my life say in the name of Jesus I honor those with the spirit of revelation I receive of their ministry I do not criticize them and that grace comes upon me say in the name of Jesus my life is supernatural my results are exponential say in the name of Jesus my words carry power my words carry grace the fragrance of favor is upon me say it again the fragrance of favor is upon me everywhere I speak it has an effect in the ears of the listeners my life is a plus to everyone around me my life is an advantage to my territory I declare over my past over my background I'm born with you never to return to you I set my face forward following the Holy Ghost and being obedient to the word my destiny is calling and I must get here lift your voice and turn it into a prayer my destiny is calling I must get there my destiny is calling my destiny is calling no room for the past no room for old ideas I choose to change I choose to change hallelujah one more confession say in the name of Jesus I choose a balanced spiritual life say it again in the name of Jesus I choose a balanced spiritual life where I excel in all things spiritually in the supernatural in my finances in my family intellectually you see you must be balanced standing on one side doing well financially with a terrible prayer life is an imbalance being anointed and being broke is an imbalance being a Christian and not rising to a position of influence is an imbalance desire influence is not a cause is how the ideas of the kingdom are enforced in a territory the key to kingdom advancement is influence where you gain a platform where you can compel men to buy into your thinking it's called influence say in the name of Jesus I increase in every area spiritually financially mentally 
in my body in relationships I declare that I have supernatural influence this year and in this season I am a leader everywhere I go an uncommon leader I set the pace I don't join the crowd I don't follow the crowd I don't do as they do I don't say as they say I set the pace in the name of Jesus Christ I sincerely pray for you from the depth of my heart the grace that has made men uncommon that has distinguished men in their territories the grace that has given men keys of supernatural indomitable influence firm grabs on territories there is a grace that can give a man firm grasp of a territory may that grace come upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ the grace for territorial influence the capacity to be a voice over a territory regardless of criticisms regardless of limitations there is such a grace may it come upon you I speak it upon you the best setter grace the groundbreaker grace the new horizon grace the grace that obstructs status quo may that grace come upon you the courage to be different the courage to be different the grace to lead to set the pace let it come upon you the fear of being different the fear of being controversial I take it out of your life forever say Lord say it everybody Lord I declare that as you bless me as you heal me as you deliver me I vow to serve you with my life I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning take my mind the cross before me the world behind me no turning back no turning back the cross before me the world behind me no turning back no turning back no man forsake me still i will follow no turning back hey, no turning back no man forsake me still i will follow no turning back no turning back come on sing it before him i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back hey, i have decided It's a costly assumption to assume tonight that everybody wants to follow Jesus. He said, I've, I've discovered that there are people who genuinely are not interested in following God. I'm not talking of self perfection, I'm talking of a sincere committal to following Jesus genuinely with your life. No way. 
there are many parasites of Jesus financial parasites of Jesus there are parasites of kingdom principles they want to use kingdom principles and mysteries as a ladder to become famous sir it doesn't work that way oh. please hear me tonight there are people every time you hear a man of god talk about passion for jesus you think they are talking about ordination to ministry no sir it's an addiction to see his kingdom come for god's sake what else will i be doing with my life if not lifting up his name jesus i lift up your name jesus i lift up your name that's what i do for a living jesus i lift up your name yeah jesus i lift up your name one more time lift your voice and say jesus, i lift up your name, I lift up your name. cannot find his purposes fulfilled through your life i tell you forget about the outstretched hand of god you hear me say this don't let any man fool you god is not a harbalist my brother is your heart god is looking for not tight not offering your heart not music not just energy my son give me your heart give me your heart give me your heart i want your heart when we talk about Jesus Christ, many people frown their face as if you are speaking against civilization. The days that will come, please hear me, people of God. The days that will come will require outspoken, radical passion for Jesus. All this organized, civilized nonsense that makes God look secondary will be the recipe for the dominion of darkness over the life of people. oh i'm now 25 years don't don't make me look like a child i'm now 30 years i hope you know i'm now the director of a and b and c nonsense and that's the reason why you're ah, ah. david danced before god and his wife said how about king I keep your dignity and david looked at her and said hold on you don't even know the mystery of how you became my wife if you know it you will join me dancing I was a little boy with no hope, no destiny. Didn't read any book. I was a smelly shepherd in the wilderness. I danced my way beyond any king to get to the throne. And now because I am here, you carry your dignity. The Bible says God had him all. And that woman died barren. It was not the devil that made her barren. Let my people go not that they may go around causing trouble and wasting time and just counting age and growing older let my people go that they may go and serve me this issue of living for jesus serving jesus no let bless him accepting him into your heart there are many people when you talk about genuine surrender not coming out to recite an altar call I make up my mind I am for Jesus forever they laugh at you they laugh at you because it doesn't make sense to them they don't see the need why should I give my life to Jesus I want to be the God of my own self so you manage your life by yourself I want to be the God of my own self so you answer your prayer by yourself I want to be the God of my own self so you mismanage your life by yourself. It says, submit down to the mighty hand of God. Then resist the devil and he will flee. You know, I sincerely see a lot of people, great men and women of God who want to walk in the anointing and I see the way they play games with submitting to the authority of Christ. You will never be trusted with certain dimensions of the anointing until God vets your passion. You can't fake it. There is a level of kingdom influence and power. No, it go to a harbalist, you will still not get that dimension. It takes your heart dead to Christ, not just living. The 
this one you have died to the purposes of the kingdom otherwise you cannot carry certain levels of grace no the kingdom has rules you you can fake it with men but not with god there is a dimension brothers and sisters where god vets your heart and sees that pastor femi will live and die for me i'm not it's not one leg in today and god is not sure what you will become in 2019 no <laughs> Basanko 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 listen to me everyone inside outside the overflows along the road listen i want to make a serious altar call now everybody sit down and listen carefully let me tell you something brothers and sisters coming to surrender your heart to jesus is not an initiation into a religion called christianity no are we together now where you are switching founders from an idol worshiper you were worshiping stone are we together and now you say guys stone is not a better alternative so i come to another founder there are not ten gods there is one god hear ye O israel the lord our god is one god i don't care who preaches what there is only one god the king eternal we can argue it but one day very soon the difference will be made clear there are people seated here listening to me i don't condemn you but brothers and sisters it's time to be serious with god shortly you're going to experience radical deliverances and healings and miracles but that is only useful when your heart is with god i don't care whether you have been a pastor for 10 years there are two altar calls i'm going to make in one right now please hear me carefully those following us online from any nation you're following just listen carefully you may not be able to run out but i want you to pay attention and participate number one there are people for you you have never made a genuine decision you have heard that people repent you have heard that people come to jesus you have even given them transport money but genuinely from your heart my father is a pastor that's not what i'm saying I grew up in a church you are joking you have to come genuinely we gave our lives to Christ it's not an inheritance of a family you come personally the other day they blessed all of us together you are not born again it has to be genuine personal and conscious when I was a baby they baptized me come and join them as soon as I made that altar call you come and join them are we together number two there are those who the war of passion and seriousness with god there is this fear of getting serious with god for some reason you think if i get serious with god my, i won't make it in life the moment i'm serious with god i won't get a nice husband uh, men these days don't like serious ladies who, who lie to you which men which one are you talking about the drunk are there the smoke are there or a genuine holy ghost born again visionary brother if i'm serious with god when it's time to chop in the office my conscience will not allow me chop that's a joke is it that god cannot bless you must you bribe to rise that's how everybody is doing it you are lying that's not how every that's how you know or you have been taught that everybody is doing it Elijah said I'm the only one God said keep quiet there are 7,000 others who have not bowed to bear please hear me there are people here God wants to visit your family but there is no one in your family who is born again and you will be the first tonight 
because God needs an access point to your family the system of the kingdom is such that God must find a portal within a territory to manifest his purposes within that territory if and when God does not find a man his power is still limited there must be an individual through sacrifice and alignment who will be able to host the purposes of the kingdom within a sphere to allow the possibilities of God find expression so if God wants to come to your family he moves everywhere and everybody says I'm, I'm, I'm too busy he comes to your mother she says I'm too busy looking for money he comes to your father I'm too confused to give my life to you comes to your brother no I'm, I'm too I'm too I want to marry now God please go somewhere he comes to your sister I'm looking for men there's no time to look for God and God says I want to step into this family no one has given me space if God can find one person he, he needs to take it step by step when he finds you the prophetic implication of your relationship starts judging the powers of darkness one by one and before you know it someone starts having a strange dream in your family he lies down and he has a dream of rapture he won't share it but that dream would torture him till he thinks about it he would get up alone and you find out for the first time he didn't steal money again he saw angels he saw the white throne he doesn't need to know what it is his spirit has been designed to recognize spiritual things but tonight you must come genuinely to jesus don't come out here if you are playing games it has let me tell you the implication of coming out here you must be ready to scatter and destroy wrong dangerous and ungodly relationships by the grace and the spirit of god you just need the will the grace is what you receive here number two you must be ready and willing to be committed to the house of god to grow this dilly darling with god is the recipe for failure i'm too young to reject god the fierceness of life will destroy me if at my level in life i claim i'm too big for god before we continue tonight i'm going to count one to ten listen everyone heard me loud and clear overflow outside overflow along the road as i'm speaking to you the holy ghost is probing you those of you standing on the fence there i see you and the lord is speaking to you online probably you are listening now or following from another nation of the world and you are saying but i'm far distance is no barrier it doesn't matter you are still on earth everyone on earth will be judged whether you are in london whether you are wherever i'm going to make this altar call now i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come to jesus i know you will be healed young and old i don't care how long you have been you are saying lord i'm tired of living my life the way i want i want to hand it genuinely inside outside start running one to ten one genuinely run like there's fire on the mountain two Three. So keep coming. Don't say there's no space. Even if you have to line up outside, no problem. This is your salvation with God greater than any miracle tonight. Just find somewhere to stand. If the place is full, keep lining up there, right outside. Five. Someone is still thinking about it and saying, Apostle, I'm a nice person. I've never done anything wrong. It's just that I've not declared Jesus. Join them. By the self-righteousness of no man can he be saved. You didn't do anything wrong. But that very nature of darkness is resident upon you. All of you who are standing here, please don't look at anyone. Lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to Jesus. Everyone who is standing, stretch right outside and those online. Talk to Jesus right now. And say, Jesus, I come to you. 
I come to you. Pray. Talk to him. And everyone seated, I expect you to be praying for someone's salvation you know. Everybody around you cannot be saved. There is somebody somewhere still hardened towards the things of God. Lift your voice and cry to Jesus. Lord, I'm saved, but my father is not saved. He's on his way to hellfire and I know it. My mother is not saved. I know today that if the trumpet sounds, they are going to hell for sure. I know my sister is not saved. My husband is not saved. My wife is not saved. My colleague in office is not saved. Lord, I know that pastor is not saved. He has a church but is not saved. Pray. Cry your heart to Jesus. He is here. Much miracle service. You are meeting with the Savior. He wants to reveal himself first as Savior. Before deliverer. Before healer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of you standing stretched to the outside, please look at me. I see you, some of you are crying sincerely from your heart. Listen, there is no man who has the power and authority to condemn you, young and old. I don't care what you have done. I don't care how your life is. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't let any man point an accusing finger, but then you cannot remain where you are. There are people standing here and say, man of God, if you will lead me to pray, I will, I will love it. I've been praying for an opportunity like this. But there are powers always keeping me. Wherever you are, inside, outside, don't mind who is looking at you. Lift your right hand to heaven and you are going to say this prayer after me. Please, it is not a poem. It is a genuine, genuine prayer, meaning from the depth of your heart. It says, I am not ashamed of the gospel why for it is the power of god unto salvation the lord wants to give you a new beginning i know you came to be healed but he wants to take over your destiny with your hands lifted to jesus who is here not in heaven right here in this place say after me passionately and sincerely say lord jesus i love you with all my heart this night I have heard your word and I make up my mind that from tonight and for the rest of my days I will live for you I will serve you without shame without fear without going back this night I hand over my life to you say it again I hand over my life to you be my Lord be my Savior I declare that the power of sin of Satan of the flesh is broken every association that is not of God I'm separated from them this night. I declare that the joy of salvation and the peace and a new beginning is mine from today. I am a child of God and I will live for him forever. Hallelujah. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, look at the ones you died for. When you hung upon that cross, you saw them. And today we are glad to present them to you this is why you put this meeting together we lift them up as trophies worthy trophies for your blood worthy trophies for your death and Lord I decree and declare that this ones you have brought tonight none will be lost I speak over your life the joy of salvation that very few people know about may it be your inheritance today I declare that the peace that surpasses all understanding let it be yours today 
I declare that every guilt the devil uses against you, every accusation, we roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I declare your sins forgiven by the message of God. I declare that you have a new beginning with God. You are empowered by the Spirit to live a victorious life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let's appreciate them. Keep standing everyone. I'll give you some instructions now. Now, there are so many of you, probably hundreds of you. This is what I want you to do. Um, protocol, please help coordinate. Let's do it this way. Those of you who are in the second overflow, the overflow right from the door that leads to the road, as you go out, please let's have some of the ushers you stand so they can attend to you there. What will happen is they are going to have your details. I know you are all so many but we want your details. We have a system to follow you up and to make sure you are grounded in God. That's number one. That's the first instruction. So those outside, those here at the overflow and those inside, you may not need to go out. Just wait where you are and someone will come to attend to you. Please, I hope the relevant departments are listening so that we can respond to them very quickly. We have five, ten minutes for this because I'll start praying for the sick now. Praise the Lord now the second instruction i want to give all of you is this the bible says they that be planted in the house of god it says they shall flourish it is important not only for you to just get born again but to be planted in the house of god instruction number three is we have a system of spiritual growth here in koinonia it's a very large house so what we do is that anyone who gets born again automatically we transfer them to our prayer department for one month whether or not you will continue as a member in the prayer department the prayer department meets tuesdays 4 p.m just at the church uh, when you walk from this road right down rema chapel more information will be communicated to you and so we usually have all um, new converts to be part of the prayer department there you get to be filled with the holy spirit and you have seasons of prayer to build your spirit and it helps you to cultivate a culture of the word and also to have a kingdom community that supports your spiritual growth. All these things are very important for your growth. I don't want you to waste this experience. Praise the Lord. I bless you in the name of Jesus and shortly the Lord is going to be turning your life around in greater dimensions. So let's do this very quickly. Appreciate them as they go. Just guide them whether or not you belong to any department. You're a member of Koinonia. You see any of them moving, just guide them as they go out. Quickly, let's honor them, Koinonia, as they do so. Is that the best you can do? Hallelujah. Please coordinate them. Coordinate them. Let's just give them some room so that they can go out and then we will shake off every power of darkness roaming around anybody's life i never see anyone like you i never see anyone like you hey, i never see anyone like you i never see Wait, Sam, help me like i never see anyone like you i never see anyone like you. everyone stand up let's pray some prayers before let's pray some prayers while they are working on the people everyone say after me in the name of jesus, name of jesus. 
please say be serious in the name of Jesus father tonight visit me this is my destiny give me strange results lift your voice and begin to pray Visit me in the name of Jesus. Visit me. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Shout it again in the name of Jesus. Every long standing issue in my life and my destiny, I declare that you must give way tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Long standing challenges. Are you praying tonight? Long standing issue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, if you can, pair yourselves into two and pray this prayer. If you are holding a child or you are doing something, that's all right. Otherwise, find somebody, a serious neighbor, hold the hand. I want you to agree. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the door for the next level of my life and that of my neighbor must be open now. Lift your voice and pray. Agree. If any truth shall agree, as touching, believe in what you are saying, you are opening doors. Pray, pray. hallelujah hallelujah you are still holding your hands say in the name of jesus father tonight take away shame take away mockery from my life my family and my neighbor lift your voice and pray seriously Roll away the reproach. Roll away the reproach of mockery. Roll away the reproach of shame. Roll away the reproach. Pray. Roll away the reproach. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, expose every force, every yoke, every spirit behind the tragedies in my life, in my destiny, and my family. Expose them tonight. Lift your voice and pray. For the light shines in darkness. Pray. 
for the light shines in darkness. Let your light shine, O God. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your anointing, let your unction locate me tonight and turn my life around. Lift your voice and pray that the power of God must locate me. Change my destiny. Let your power pray. One encounter with the anointing of the Holy Ghost can wipe your tears, my brother, my sister. Pray. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like menorah. Light me, Lord. Listen, listen to me. I will just give you an instruction. Just help those under the anointing, but listen to me carefully, please, everyone. Do you know the reason why we minister deliverance? Listen, listen carefully. You have to understand this. The reason why we minister deliverance, you don't spend your whole life going through deliverance. However, there are lives, come my dear, when a spirit listen carefully when a spirit latches onto your life and destiny brothers and sisters let me tell you i don't care what you do physically remember spiritual intelligence you can be doing the right physical things but the presence of a spirit representing an embargo representing a covenant an authorization for your doom will keep you down there and you find out that your life will never open up when people gather like this hear me they come with prayer requests they come with problems but you see behind those problems are spirits are we together now the spirits that are responsible for lack of favor the spirits that are responsible for a hard life the spirits that are responsible for infirmity all kinds of cases you know one of our dear people here in the ministry i prayed over the father's picture i've seen those kinds of cases on television and all of that but you could look at the leg and see the bone the bone the flesh had eaten to a point that you could see the bone what happened to the man he went to bed in the night 
brothers and sisters i think somebody did something for him in a dream and he woke up physically and his legs started eating up the bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness you want to move forward but there is an embargo the solution is not counseling you need an encounter with power everybody say power listen the power of the holy spirit is not a negotiator it's an enforcer when the power of god comes it does not ask you whether you want to be free your assignment is to be open till it reaches you when it comes it scatters anything that does not look like god lift your hands everyone just lift your hands and be silent i'll pray for you now the spirit of god is upon me lift your hands everyone there are people here right now i want you to bring there the first sets of people who will come out ushers grace for you and protocol i know you have a lot of work today because there's such a crowd right to the road but i want to pray everyone please lift your hands the lord is speaking to me there are people right now in your silence hold on maybe just this the power of god will begin to come upon you what is happening right now before we pray for the sick is massive deliverance that deliverance is equal to breakthrough equal to new levels but lift your hands there are people here who are under strong yokes of delay and the lord gives me an instruction we will just lift our hands and be silent that's all the instruction and inside and outside the spirit of god will begin to locate them are we together when that happens then we'll take it off from there that's the first thing god wants to do tonight just lift your hands everyone thank you jesus the lord is asking me to stretch my hands and there are people and families and those following on online except you are not under the influence of the spirit of delay that spirit must leave you are we together so keep your hands lifted thank you jesus lord wherever they are right now i stretch my hands according to the instructions you have given me inside and outside right now i see the anointing of the spirit already falling over the spirit of delay keep your hands lifted bring them out outside there just the angels of the lord are walking i'm seeing like smoke just moving across lines line by line inside and outside when it comes to you when you are under that influence that's the end of it right now i command it the word of the lord is upon this prophecy in the name of jesus no instruments don't play anything outside there is massive deliverance happening separation from delays separation from delays bring them out thank you jesus delays you want to move forward but the spirit ties you down it's over right now no you can't budge it you are under an atmosphere there is an influence the influence of the spirit line by line the holy ghost is moving row by row there is no faking it line by line lord every row every line every individual let no one in this category escape it for the sake of your mercy and your grace no matter where you are inside and outside online don't worry the spirit of god is moving one by one it must catch up with you the word of the lord is upon it bring them out young old destinies that have been delayed tonight there is serious grace for deliverance those of you lifting up your hands be sensitive be sensitive we're in a prophetic atmosphere right now bring them i see people outside kai my god 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 many people many people many people many people there's someone you are following from kenya you are watching from a laptop the anointing your hands are shaking the spirit of the lord is upon you judging every darkness Sha 
Kalabakatayabara. Tonight you will be located by God. You prayed it. You must be free. Please help the ushers. If there are too, if there are too few protocols, join them. Different departments, help them. The Lord really wants to set people free. It's a year of triumph. Don't think these people are just coming out for show. They represent breakthroughs. These are the people who God wants to give testimonies. Darkness raging over the lives of people. They came from different places. How will God leave them that way? Right now, all of you in front here, I decree and declare to those spirits, at the count of three, let them go. You know my voice. One, two, three, go. Go, go, go. Out of their lives now. Out now. I command you, by the influence of the spirit, I decree and declare, let their destinies go. Delay. Broken. Go now. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. My God, you'll be surprised at what will happen now. Everyone self tell me in the name of Jesus Say it again in the name of Jesus Say it again in the name of Jesus The grace For open doors Right now Break every chain In my life Keep your hands lifted. Watch it happen now. That's the instruction God gave me. That grace breaking chains now. I'm speaking across the congregation. I have been seeing this for weeks. But locks opening in the realm of the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. But locks opening, opening, opening right now. I open them. I'm under the shadow of yours. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of yours. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow. Your influence is all over me. Fire is coming on 32 people and this fire that is coming upon them is to break family altars. I hear family altars right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus, one, two, three, I set those altars now on fire. Right now, 32 people, I see in the realm of the spirit, I command it right now, I command it. Everyone on this ground, under the influence of any altar, now, be free now. Help them please, help that lady. Be free now. Right now, be free now. Be free now. Your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow of your own. Everyone lift your hands. Say this after me in the name of Jesus. Please say it seriously. Say in the name of Jesus. Any spirit that has had access to my life 
and is causing destruction hear the word of the Lord as I shout the name Jesus I command you to live my life at the count of three shout Jesus there will be an exiting of many strange spirits one two three shouting I command spirits you go now you go now you go now you go now inside and outside any spirit resident within any man's life any woman's life causing pain Hallelujah. Oh, as I pray for grace for you in Jesus' name. Because what I see now is not a nice thing. The Lord is asking me that we shout Jesus. There are people who are going to vomit physical things. That's why I said it's a messy scene. I, I apologize. We're very neat and organized people inside and outside. But in the name of Jesus right now, any stranger in your body at the count of three must go out now. One, two, three. I command every stranger. Go now. Every poison. Every devil causing sicknesses, every fibroid, every devil, every enchantment. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a vision of a lady. If you're here, I want you to come out. I'm seeing your family doing something like a sacrifice, and they are giving somebody, everybody, a substance like a drink, something to take. They gave everybody, including you, and you took it. Where is that person? Please, if you're here, I want you to come out quickly. It's a, it's a highly diabolic thing they gave everybody. Where are you? Come. Your deliverance comes now. I'm under the shadow of your wings. Help me. Your influence is all over me. Let's have another mic, please. Hold on. Stand up, my dear. Is this the lady? Two of them? Stand up. Where are you from? Look at me. Huh? Kogi State. State. What happened to you? Hold on. I converted. Hold on. I'm looking at you, Kai. This thing. You entered a covenant. Huh? Yes. With who? I don't know my mother. I don't know. They she brought somebody, and you people entered a covenant and they gave you something. Hold my hands. Shout Jesus. Jesus. I command that covenant, that demonic thing, time your life. In this miracle service, it lives now. In the name of Jesus. You too. Where are you from? I'm from Kogi State. You are from Kogi State. The same thing. Hold my hands. Look at me. I command that devil to leave you now whatever yoke please don't come out if I don't call your case are you part of them mr. man young man you're part of them in the name of Jesus I set you free bring the, your, you two. come make sure that so that we don't get the place rowdy be delivered now help her out be free now out I'm interested in this lady please stand up my dear if you can this lady's whole family is in bondage whole family the entire family nothing is working in your family the Lord wants to deliver you right now hold my hands I command that spirit your time is up leave this family now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I break the yoke over your life now out now
there is a lady you have been coughing blood where are you you are coughing literally and blood is coming out there is a lady like that please where are you let's hurry up we have a lot to do this night the lord is asking me to minister to a lady that coughs and then blood you cough blood who is that inside outside except you are under the anointing please come out quickly i want to pray for that person now where are you how long hold on just just keep up where's the mic how long you you are an usher you how long three weeks eh? three weeks. for three weeks you've been caught lay your hand on your chest you too lay your hands on your chest you too huh substance your what hold on please guys hold on yours is what the substance you spoke about what substance given some to take in the family lift and your hands question. lift your hands lift both of them i'm seeing an angel pouring something on your hand your hand will start shaking and then the lord is bringing you strange deliverance it will start from your hands down to your body i place the word of god upon your life right now in the name of jesus christ both of you look at me both of you cough out blood in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon you it ends now in the name of jesus out right now there are spirits responsible for this kite ta, 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 ta. do you know what i just saw the lord opened my eyes and i saw like a cage and in the cage i saw snakes that's all i'm seeing that's all i'm seeing lift your hands everybody the lord is just asking me to wave my hands over the congregation there are people who represent that oppression it will leave now the lord is asking me to wave my hands lord as you have said i see snakes in cages whose destiny is that right now whose destiny is that i wave my hands in the name of jesus please release them for your glory release them now help them please jesus christ inside outside be out of that cage now I see snakes, serpents. Some of you see them in your dreams. They must go now. They are leaving you now. Now. They are leaving you now. I command liberty. 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 Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Jane. Jane like J A N E Jane 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 I'm also hearing another name Victory is it Victory like Victory Victory please don't come out if that's not your name what's your name Jane your name is Victory where are you from State. Delta State I have to pray for you your family is being seriously oppressed why are you people here you are all Jane Jane your name is victory I want to pray for you Kaza chat Kaza chat is it Kaza chat who is that Kaza chat I'm hearing that name that's that's like a Kaduna name Kaza chat Please, who is that? The breakthrough of your family has come. Kaza chat. Is it? I don't know why God is going to Kaduna now. Nom. Is it Nom Shu or Nom Shu or something like that? I don't know if there's a name like that. Nom Nom Shu or something like that. Nom something. Please, if that is your name, you are. Why are they here? I call their names. I'm going to lay hands on you. Except for you, I don't even know why the rest of you are. But please, I want you to believe. The moment I lay my hands on you, something will happen. The Lord is saying I should start with you. Lord, open her door now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Reproach leaves your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reproach lives your life now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Reproach 
lives your life now. Reproach lives your life now. Hold my hands. Call your parents and tell them the Lord is giving them breakthrough. Your family, your entire family, Delta State, breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. The serious witchcraft over your life. Hold my hands. Lord, the Lord is asking me to walk with you. This is how your destiny is opening up. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Walk with you. To walk with you. Something is happening. It's a prophetic act. You will not help her to walk with you. Opens in the name of Jesus. Your destiny opens up now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. This girl, lift your hands where you are. I'm seeing wind around you. And the Lord is that wind is going anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. And the Lord said his restoration. I stretch my hands upon you right now. I release that grace for restoration. Restoration. There are seven other people who will tap from this anointing. This same anointing right now. Seven. Seven. Right now. The anointing for restoration is coming upon them. Receive it right now wherever you are. Hallelujah. I'm seeing one mama outside. It's like you came here with your daughter or something. I'm seeing a woman sit down with her daughter outside. Now that's all I'm giving about you. Please, if you can find that woman and if you understand what I've said, I want you to run and come. I want to pray for the sick now, but God is delivering people. God is delivering people. Seth. Seth. Who is Seth? S-E-T-H. S-E-T-H. Your name is Seth. 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 The Lord is stepping into his life right now. Seth. Is there someone with that name? Seth. Have you found the mama I'm talking about? Don't worry, let them come. Let them come. Doesn't matter. With your daughter. Mama. Hi. There is the spirit of death on your family. I'm going to pray for you. Don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. You came from where, Mama? I came from Edo State. From Edo State? Yes, but I live in Wusasa. You live in Wusasa? Yes. But you came from Edo State. Yes. I must pray for you. There, why is he here? Who is this gentleman? Seth. You too? You are an usher? Okay. I, this is not the set I'm seeing. No, I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone else. Eh? Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now, huh? Because I'm seeing an accident killing you, and you took what's the name of this thing they take? We we, and you were high. You were about to cross the road, and then I'm seeing a truck with the name Angote on it, just running and killing you. There is somebody here you smoke please don't be there's nothing to be embarrassed about it's not like you are not a serious person but this thing you started taking it from when you were small and it's destroying your life you want to be free but you can't leave it please don't be ashamed come out now quickly please if you are still thinking about it remain on your seat some you have to be free now come out i'm seeing one you wore jeans dress like your shirt I don't know if it's your shirt, it's jeans. Who is that? No, no. There, there's another. Come out, I will pray for you. This, this is not the only guy. Just keep them here. I will pray for him. I'm seeing another person outside. The second overflow. You are standing on the road. The Spirit of God is speaking to you. Speaking to you. This thing they roll and they smoke. And then you even i'm seeing you swallowing a drug i don't know what drug is that please come out come out clap for them as they come out join them quickly and come 
whether I mention your case or not, you are involved in any kind of liquor and addiction. Indian hem, whatever, forward march. Come here, your salvation. Come, sir. Please appreciate them. Clap for them. Some of them are not bad people. It's a spirit. Don't be ashamed. Please usher uh, direct them so that they come here. I'm seeing up to five ladies in this group. Up to five ladies. Come. Don't be ashamed. Don't let anyone laugh at you. Please, this is a miracle service. Join them. We oui, we oui. codeine. Whatever it is, join them. Whether you know the name of what you are smoking or swallowing or not, come and join them. Please, quickly, that addiction must be broken now. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Keep coming. The devil is a liar. Who can stand against the King? No one can, no one will. Oh, 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 please hold on please if the parents of the boy are here don't flog him please this is a very small boy you will not even know that this boy is wise to smoke this thing he saw an elderly person smoking it come out there is a small boy here i know what drag him out come where is the boy come out please gentlemen i'm going to pray for you don't worry you are not bad people i'm seeing a number of ladies up to five ladies they are refusing to come out there's nothing to be embarrassed jesus christ wants to set you free this is a miracle service it's not like you have evil people that's not what we're saying it's a spirit you don't stop by counseling mama there is a spirit of death over your family and i will pray for you i will pray for you in the name of jesus who is this your daughter what's your name my dear Is this mic working? Can you add Lillian, the voice? Lillian. Lillian, what do you want God to do for you? I want God to heal you. What's wrong with you? I've been having problems with my tongue. No. 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 You had a dream. Huh? You saw a snake. You can't even remember it. And from that day, you started having serious problems with your stomach. Huh? What's wrong with you? I've, I've, I've got to test. And, 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 and they told me that it's a, a liver problem. Liver problem. Because I look at you and you would think you are pregnant. But you are not pregnant. Your stomach is swelling up. Mama, is that true? How long has it been? It's, it's out of three years now. Look at, look at, look at evil and wickedness. Are you married? Because you see now assuming a brother has been trusting god to marry this sister do you think the brother will marry her please help me do you think he will marry her you look at her now and you think she's five or six months pregnant but she's not pregnant Kai. there is a lady who has refused to come out the power of god is going to come upon her outside you are supposed to be part of those who will be delivered here i'm seeing the angel of the lord outside that lady you were a sincere lady but i, I don't know if it's um, another lady God, i don't want to say what i'm seeing not to embarrass you because the, what you were introduced to is not only smoking this there are other things that i see that i may not be able to talk about i'm, I'm asking you to come out god wants you to be free for the sake of your family the power of god is going to come upon you outside outside to be free of this thing my dear look at me this is koinonia the lord is going to set you free you believe in miracles mama you believe in miracles yes, i have to pray for you money runs away from you huh madam i will pray for you mama yeah i'm okay do you hear how sir okay this is your daughter 
please be comfortable whatever language you can speak there is an interpreter here nobody says you must be able to speak english or whatever any language please if i call you here or you stand here for healing don't be under any pressure to say you must whatever language is comfortable speak it if i don't understand we'll find somebody to interpret please don't put yourself under pressure and say no we are excellent people but we are not fools we can't put anyone under pressure hallelujah mommy i want to pray for you because i'm seeing the lord bringing restoration to your life this is what i am seeing and the lord is asking me to pray for you can i pray for you ma'am I will pray for you ah. I have to pray I'm seeing not you but I'm seeing somebody close to you having an accident traveling to Abuja and having an accident we have to pray I'm not saying it will happen once God reveals it is broken Lord Jesus stretch your hands and let's pray for this mommy you don't have to know her please stretch your hands and pray Lord we avert death we avert death now in the name of Jesus Christ, we avert death by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mama? Is there a name like Gracilda? Is it Gracilda or Gracilda? Gracilda or Gracilda? Something like that. Gracilda, Gracilda, something like that. If that sounds like your name, I'm sorry if I don't mention it well. The Lord kept mentioning it in my ears. Gracilda or Grisilda, something like that. If that is your name, please come out. Eh? Jacinta? No. But come. Where are you coming from? Zaria. Zaria, I have to pray for you. There's a gentleman who will destroy you. Be free now from every influence. Hold my hand anybody that is not designed by god i separate you and him forever say amen in jesus name gracilda gracilda i'm hearing gracilda something Hilda. please if it's not you no problem but that's what i'm hearing mama let's pray in the name of jesus christ i pray for you by the power of the holy spirit new beginning for you hold up please in the name of jesus christ my dear lay your hands on your stomach Kai. Lord Jesus, you gathered people here tonight to set them free. I cause the spirit responsible for this. I decree and declare that this stomach will shrink. Every devil will go away in the name of Jesus Christ. If you agree with me, say amen. amen. Look at me and you will never be barren in your life. Say amen. There are two ladies you are inside here there is an embargo of barrenness on your family fire is coming on those two ladies now to break that embargo you don't even know it's in your family it may not be in your life but i'm seeing it right now the angel of the lord is locating two ladies right now and is breaking that embargo thank you father i put the word of god upon this prophetic word that embargo is broken right now right now right now two ladies two ladies there's no reason why you should come here and your life should be the same mama i will pray for you this is your daughter do you know that god is going to use this girl god will use your daughter for his glory hold my hands my dear there's a small girl now but god will use you in the name of jesus christ I anoint you mama I decree and declare let hardship live your life in the name of Jesus Christ let hardship live your life in the name of Jesus hold on I'm seeing a wind and the Lord is asking me to follow it this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance the power of God is coming upon a few people as I'm walking across this place 
this is somebody's deliverance this is somebody's deliverance lord set them free right now right now right now i'm seeing something rolling around this room this room this room this room shala sobaria taska bandabria legeteke basharatos kabridia there's no hiding there's no hiding someone in this room someone in this room someone in this room hardship over your family is being broken right now i'm stretching my hands this row right there father locate that person right now right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ mama come i want you to rejoice look at me the lord hold on the lord is saying i should tell you that where you have been crying you will begin to laugh you have been crying for 30 years and the lord is saying your breakthrough has come in the name of the lord jesus christ please shake for me come madam hold my hands the lord is there and should tell you it's your season of laughter in the name of jesus christ your season of laughter your season of laughter look at me lose her hands now lose her hands now lose her hands now in the name of jesus christ let her hands be loose your hands are tied i lose your hands in the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus christ open doors open doors open doors open doors open doors that's what the lord is saying open doors the lord has said you have waited too long it's time for the door of your destiny to be open open doors come there is a spirit in your life that makes bad boys look for you hold my hands leave her now out out when bad boys see you they can't leave you as they are passing they see you that spirit calls them back i don't know who this girl is you are a small girl but the things you know are what you have done out now in the name of jesus you have gone to places you should not go you have you have the phone numbers of people that if we know now i'm not saying you're a bad girl it's a spirit including married men they will be minding their business that spirit will call them to you i command that devil to leave you now leave you now in the name of jesus christ i want us to pray for this gentleman before we pray for the sick you see let me tell you something addiction is a very wicked spirit don't look at them especially our dear sisters my brother what happened to you eh? gone short gone short yes, sir. who shot you i'm a soldier i was shot by my body Meduguri. you are meduguri yes sir no he wanted to kill you eh? but he didn't kill you he was directed to kill you Hi. you are a soldier how long has this been it's going to seven months now seven months which where did they shoot your legs and you can't walk with it look at me you believe in miracles lift your crutch lift it lift it come come lift your legs go ahead you're a soldier lift your legs look at this come on koinonia look at this lift your crotch up look at this look at this look at this walk as fast as you can don't be afraid turn around turn around come because your wound is not healing there is a wound but there is not healing from today I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord who has perfected this leg will also perfect you where are you now you are in Zaria you are still in the force yes you are still in the force huh? yes sir. I want to pray for you do you believe God can favor yes sir I have to pray for you God is going to connect you with a senior person and he will lift you huh? look at me brothers and sisters 
I want to break this addiction from your life now. Are we together? You are very sincere people. Some of you were initiated into this thing by bad friends. Some of you were initiated into these things by spirit. I'm going to lay my hands on you. While the congregation, whether your child is here or not, whether your brother is here or not, as you are praying, you are sowing a seed for your own home. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Stretch your hands. Don't look at anybody's face and run your mouth on any. It's none of your business. Koinonia is, a, is like a hospital. Stretch your hands. I will lay my hands on every one of them. Please, all of you should pray. I want to break addiction from your life. Don't feel condemned. Jesus will help you. It must be broken right now. Broken right now. Broken right now. Any kind of addiction. Out. Out. Now. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus. Out. Look at this guy. Out. Break from his life now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be set free. Be set free. As soon as I lay my hands on you, continue praying. Be set free. Addiction, break. Break in the name of Jesus. Hold my hands, darling. No addiction for liquor. No addiction for drugs. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something like an arrow coming out of your head. Out of our life now. In the name of Jesus. I break that addiction. Ah. Hey Jimmy, come. The Lord is saying you should pray for this guy. He will pray for you. This guy needs serious prayer. Just lay your hands on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Out! Out! Now! I command that devil. This is somebody that loves God but this addiction must be broken right now I break it right now I break it right now hold my hands you're a nice lady but we have to break this thing Lord please for your mercy let it be broken in her life in the name of Jesus Christ 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 hallelujah the Lord is asking me to minister to somebody I'm seeing a very interesting case you love God please don't be ashamed there is a particular pain reliever you are addicted to who is that person I want to pray for you now whether you are sick or not come and stand here particular pain reliever you can't help it you can wake up 1 a.m. in the night and swallow it it's a spirit pain reliever I'm not saying you are sick and they gave you in the hospital God is visiting addictions this night quickly come don't sit back and say I'm all right allow God set you free let them come look at this pain I don't know what it is but I hear my spirit pain reliever Whether you are sick, whether you are fine, the urge will hook you and you have to go and get it. If you, you can prefer to take it than to eat food, it must go right now. That's why God put this meeting to help people. There's one of you, fire is coming on you now after that fire comes on you then i'll pray for the rest that's the instruction god is giving me one of you fire literal fire is coming upon you from heaven as i lay my hands upon you that addiction breaks right now stretch your hands and pray for them don't feel embarrassed broken now broken now broken now in the name of jesus Addiction broken now. 
broken now by the power of the Holy Ghost broken now broken right now by the power of the Holy Ghost broken now broken now if you have for prayers just move them forward broken now in the name of Jesus broken now in the name of Jesus broken now in the name of Jesus it's broken now in the name of Jesus broken in the name of Jesus place your hand on your stomach God is not only setting you free he's setting you free from something else let her go now in the name of Jesus Christ addiction broken now addiction broken now by the power of the Holy Ghost addiction is broken now in the name of Jesus Christ broken now hold my hands let her go in the name of Jesus Christ there is a spirit that wants to destroy your life I command now there's no hiding place for you by the power of the Holy Spirit you must be set free you are standing in for somebody no problem in the name of Jesus Christ supernatural freedom hallelujah praise the Lord now praise the Lord please accept you are nursing a child or doing something let's all rise those outside they are still praying for you no problem all other people please stand up rise up I want us to pray if you are yet to submit your prayer request please do it quickly the bible says unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come in one minute god can turn your life around everyone stretch your hands here and pray i'm going to lay hands on the request pray passionately from the depth of your heart lord i will not have to write this again pray I've written it the Bible says after two days please if there are still people coming bring it quickly it says after two days he will revive us and on the third day he will raise us up online here please pray I'm laying my hands on this request and we're asking the God of heaven visit men and women are you praying now pray pray in the next one minute i'd like you to pray blast in tongues and say lord this is the last of the prayer request that i'm having to write concerning this issue hallelujah agree with me with a loud amen in the name of jesus christ I decree and I declare over every request gathered from this nation and from the nations of the earth online and here in our local environment Jesus I present to you impossible situations according to men and I ask you turn it around now turn it around now Turn it around now. Let every breakthrough request here be turned into a testimony now. Every case here said by men to be impossible. We, we collide that case with the power of God and we produce testimonies now. Whoever must die for this prayer to be answered dies now. Whoever must live for this prayer to be answered lives now. Whoever must rise for this prayer to be answered rises now. Whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered goes down now. Amen. 
whoever must hear God for this prayer to be answered hears God now father I pray in the name of Jesus may your people not have to write this again agree with me may your people not have to write this again Lord I pray that before miracle service April let every request here be turned into a testimony May the fire and the anointing of the Holy Ghost that makes all the difference let it rest on this request the same way fire fell from heaven to consume the sacrifice of Elijah may fire fall on this now it has been prayed for you will not write it again it has been prayed for you will not write it again in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift up your hands everyone hallelujah listen we are in a very strange season of the manifestation first of the spirit of revelation listen carefully there is a very spectacular outpouring God wants to upgrade the work of his people to access the mysteries of the kingdom not just to know him God wants to equip us with mysteries are we together number two there is a strange outpouring of the supernatural power of God for performance for performance not just that you had God and it never happens not just that you speak and it never happens number three this is personal to us as a family of faith God has declared that is a year of triumph I want you to believe this word oh believe it otherwise you will sit down and you will watch people rise from nothing and then you will keep clapping I'd like you to insist we still have a few minutes for this meeting to be done tonight insist that if you have never stood upon this altar to testify make up your mind and say no God I must stand before your people are you hearing what I'm saying as I speak over your life now among the many things I want to speak right now I want to activate upon your life the grace and the unction for performance many of you may not know what this anointing is listen carefully lift your hands he said who has ever heard that a city was built in one day but as soon as Zion travels there is a grace that is coming upon the people of God hear me for performance he said blessed is she that believes for unto her not unto them mm -mm, mm -mm. this is not a corporate thing unto her there shall be there are many things god has said that has not come to pass there is a grace that engenders performance i prophesy to you now in the name of the lord god who called me and sent me may that unction that will make results appear speedily let it come upon you like fire now let it come upon you like fire now receive it now is yours receive it now is yours receive it now is yours performance 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 shake it la bata la prete get the soto ropa shiata grace for performance everything hanging in the realm of the spirit that is already your portion released by God I decree within the next 30 days it appears physically now I prophesy the spirit of the Lord is upon me I speak within the next 30 days it manifests in the name of Jesus
whatever has slowed down your pace in life so that you are not moving at the pace designed by God I put fire upon your feet and I command speed now I put fire upon your feet I command strength speed strength speed strength speed anything that has not yet worked in your life i don't know why but i'm prophesying i'm speaking to it start working now many of you don't understand what i'm doing to you start working now i don't know what projects you are currently on that has refused to produce i force it to bear fruit now I force it to bear fruit now. Hear me. The Lord spoke to my spirit and told me that the month of April for Koinonia, you may not believe it, but for Koinonia and everyone connected to this grace, the Lord said we will see a strange dimension of wealth and manifestation write this down brothers and sisters is the word of the lord i think i was telling you yesterday that the lord told me this you will see people that know nothing about money rise in a way that they themselves are asking what happened listen except the lord has not sent me i declare you must be part of the testifiers don't say i'm too small receive it don't be foolish in the name of jesus you must be a participant listen i tell you brothers and sisters please write this down you will see a strange rising rising write this down you will say i said it nothing to some i mean mysteriously people will have to ask what is happening it is a grace there is a grace that makes it happen i'm not talking of business i'm talking about the suffering word of god upon the life of a man may it be your portion in the name of jesus i decree upon you the kind of favor that will make even your enemies to say there is God in your life I release that dimension of favor now listen you can't rise in this kingdom without the favor of God you will struggle for nothing please hear me I prophesy it again whoever is lacking favor on his life I decree from this night carry favor inside outside everywhere online carry favor let me prophesy over finances whatever makes money run away from you don't say i'm talking about money you need it for what is coming in ahead whatever makes finances run from you whatever dug a hole in your life that makes you suffer in misery and penury i turn it around now i turn it around now i pray for every student here the kind of results you have never seen i release it to you now i release it by the spirit i release it from the spirit in the name of jesus christ
anyone due for promotion here or anyone's family member rightfully due for promotion and either because of religious sentiments or because of ethno tribal sentiments they have trampled upon you i decree and declare may the angel of god responsible for lifting visit your destiny and ensure that your promotion must manifest i pray for your loved ones i pray for you whoever is called jobless here yeah, before next miracle service get something doing now i prophesy it again whoever is called jobless before next miracle service i don't know how it will happen but get a good job there are people here trusting god for direction very clear direction for the next level of their lives could be maritally could be geographic location whatever it is hear god in this season like never before hear god in this season like never before lift your hands i release upon you the grace for supernatural miracles receive it right now receive it right now sapoto so bring it here receive it right now from tonight i declare whoever you speak over and command their destinies to open may my god honor it i said may my god honor it whoever fights you goes down immediately whoever fights you goes down immediately hear me whoever mocks your passion for god goes down immediately whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise may his prayer be answered whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise in koinonia tonight may their prayers be answered every embargo of bad luck upon your face that makes your helpers look at you and turn aside i tear that fail completely in the name of jesus favor like never before testimonies like never before koinonia is the place of the anointing koinonia is the place of unction i pray for you a new a fresh grace and anointing let it rest upon you like the dew of heaven begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit i'm praying it again begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit begin to flow effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit the mantle of honor that god has put upon my life god has put upon this ministry you are part of this vision you are under this grace there's no reason why it should not work in your life i command it to start speaking now no more dishonor in your life no more dishonor in your life hear me for those who have been trying certain things for a long time whether it's exams whether it's admission whatever you have been doing again business i don't care i don't know where the embargo came from but i break it right now from today any man that looks upon you may god cause them to bless you whatever has killed your prayer life this night I release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication 
Listen. See, let me tell you something. Don't ever let people. There are people who are under such passion for new things. The system of the kingdom is dynamic, but the foundations of the things that make men grow are the same. Prayer, the word, corporate fellowship, obedience. If you leave any of these things and you say you are looking for power or looking for anointing, it's a joke. You will never find it. One more time, I restore your prayer life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what killed your passion for the word, your passion for Bible study, your passion for devotion, your passion for the things of God, but I command a restoration this night. I don't know what took away your passion for the house of God, but in the name of Jesus, may a love for the house of God like never before come upon you. In the name of Jesus. The grace God released to bring the word triumph to come to pass in this ministry. May that grace speak over you. I speak over your life. It is your year of triumph. Therefore, whatever has mocked God in your life, I command that in, as you enter April from tomorrow, you triumph over it. Hallelujah. As you enter April, it will not be April full, it will be April wise. It will be April breakthrough. It will be April miracles. It will be April speed. Agree with me again. I'm praying with you. Between now and miracle service April, please hear me results together with tears in your eyes for joy you will return with them results together with tears of joy in your eyes hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you